is a fifth dimension beyond that which is known to man. It is a dimension as vast as space and as timeless as infinity. It is the middle ground between light and shadow, between science and superstition, and it lies between the pit of man's fears and the summit of his knowledge. This is the dimension of imagination. It is an area which we call Hello once again everybody and welcome back to Power Director Made Simple. In my last video, I talked about several important changes to Power Director that were included in the May 2024 update. And for what it's worth, Cyberlink finally posted the May 2024 What's New in Power Director section on their website. But here are, are a few developments about three of the major items I discussed in the last video. Number one, the deletion of the speaker icon on the preview window. And number two, the loss of all previously saved video profiles. And number three, the inability to adjust audio properties as part of a video being exported. Well, I contacted Cyberlink support and asked them to confirm if all three of these items were part of the intended action in the update. They have now responded, and the answers may surprise you. Now, item one, the speaker icon. Cyberlink responded with, please be informed, the volume button has been removed in the new version of PowerDirector 365. They also added, as a workaround, you are advised to adjust the system volume with the adjust system volume and mute, mute off options in the playback menu besides the save button. Or you can use the hotkey control plus U to adjust the system volume directly. Well, here's what that really looks like from within PowerDirector. I'm going to click on the music track 1983 just to preview it from the list of Cyberlink's background music. Now, if it plays too loud, I'm going to go to the menu playback and select adjust system volume. They also state because of my concern and apparently others, we have escalated the suggestion to add back the volume button in the preview window to our product team as a feature development reference. Now, if you really miss that simple method of having the speaker icon below the preview window, then I highly suggest that each of you contact Cyberlink and either fill out a support ticket asking to re to replace the speaker icon as it was, or leave a similar message in the PowerDirector feedback forum. Now, item number two, the loss of users saved video profiles while exporting. Cyberlink responded, after pilot checking, we have reproduced the same condition on the testing platform. This case has been escalated to the engineering team for further investigation. Now, I don't know what they mean by pilot testing, but it sounds a lot like beta testing, which is being done after the update has been released to the public. Yes, this means that you are effectively the beta testers. So item number three, the lack of adjustment of audio properties for exported video. Cyberlink responded, we advise you to switch to the custom profile in the produce page, select edit profile, the memo icon, to open the quality profile setup dialog and modify the audio settings in the aforementioned dialog. Now I've tested it and it works. First, make sure that you are using the format and the codec appropriate for the new custom profile. For example, note that I am using MP4 
and H.264, which are the most commonly used settings. I'm going to click on Custom Profile as advised by CyberLink. And I am advised that there are no custom profiles. I am asked if I would like to save the current setting as a new profile. Now you should know that using one of the recommended settings gives you a starting place to modify and create your real custom profile. So I'm going to click Yes and enter a file name. For this demo, I'll just keep the suggested name of Custom Profile 1 and click OK. Now, alternatively, in order to create your custom profile, you could have just clicked on Save Profile and it will take you right to the same window of entering a name such as Custom Profile 1. Now, notice down at the bottom the resultant file size is about 10 megabytes. If I were to exit the export window and then click the blue export button once again, notice that in addition to the recommended settings, I can now click on custom profile and under the profile names, I have only that one named custom profile one. So far, a custom profile is now saved but it has the same settings as the original recommended settings. Now let's change those right now by clicking on the Edit Profile icon as suggested by CyberLink. Now another window opens up which you may recognize as the same window used in previous versions of PowerDirector to change video profiles. I'm going to click on the Video tab and change the average bit rate to the maximum of 60,000 kilobits per second, and then click OK. Notice the resultant file size is now about 72 megabytes. If I want to change any of the audio parameters, I'll click on the Edit icon again and select the Audio tab. The original recommended values were using the highest possible bit rate of 384 kilobits per second using a lossy compression technique of advanced audio coding or AAC. Now maybe I want to use a lossless compression such as linear pulse code modulation. So I'll choose LPCM and click on OK. Notice the file size went up slightly to just over 73 megabytes. In order to keep all of these changes as part of Custom Profile 1, I need to click on Save Profile. Now, whenever I come back to this Custom Profile in the future, those extreme high bit rate and audio compression settings will be part of the profile. These new parameters should also be in the description for each profile. As it stands right now, our custom profile one has the same description as the standard recommended profile. I can change that now by clicking again on the edit icon and entering whatever I want, such as a setting for Aunt Mary's DVDs or whatever. Now for now, I'm just gonna enter MPEG-4, H.264, 60K bitrate, and LPCM audio as the description. It would be nice if CyberLink allowed one to change the name of a profile, but once you click on OK for a profile name, you can never change it. In this case, my custom profile will always be called Custom Profile 1. So, there you have it. Of those three major concerns from the May update, CyberLink will think about changing the speaker icon back to the way it was. They will admit that the loss of previously saved profiles is a bug and the ability to change audio parameters must be done by first creating a custom profile and then editing that profile. 
I want each of you to think about these three things I just mentioned, and then pay a visit to that What's New webpage for PowerDirector. And somebody tell me where any of this is mentioned at all. You know what would be great? How about Cyberlink including a What's New text file with each update, where they can go into detail about these changes. Oh wait, then I wouldn't have any subject matter to create these YouTube videos. Never mind. If you enjoyed this video and found any part of it helpful, click that like button. And if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button. I'm hoping to hit 2 million subscribers by the end of the month. Thanks to all of you for watching.